I'm joined now by Angus Woods, who's Livestock Chair of IFA. Angus, uh, we've heard a uh, review of the different meat sectors this morning from Board Bia. Uh, we had an extra 100,000 cattle in 2017. Uh, we got up to 2.9 million sheep, I think. Uh, it has been a, a year of increased throughput, and yet prices have performed reasonably well in the marketplace, better than we might have expected. Well, I wouldn't necessarily say better than we might have expected. I mean, the, the market demand has been very good right across Europe this year. Um, and certainly we would have felt there was periods within the year there where we were slipping behind the European average that we, we should have been priced better at those particular times. Yes, at the final end of the year, we were 30 cent a kilo up on where we were previously in 2016. Um, but we would feel that the market fully justified that. And in fact, I would feel that there was more to be had in the marketplace and we looked, we're looking to drive it on now for 18. Are, uh, just listening again in terms of the numbers, they expect that there'll be not as big an increase in numbers this year as there was last year, but that there will be an extra few thousand. Uh, are you confident that the marketplace will carry those and handle those in 2018 the way that it did in 2017? Yeah, well, on top of the, the extra thirty to 50,000 that we, we saw inside was predicted to, to come, we've also seen inside this morning there where the markets are going to be stronger. Consumption across Europe is also going to be stronger. Uh, consumption in the UK, demand in the UK is going to be up as well, 1.2%. So there is real uh, opportunity here for Ireland to, to fill those holes and to uh, return a decent price to beef finishers. And I suppose another angle too that there came some life back to in, into in 2017 was the live export market. Uh, I know that your sales had been, uh, been out to Turkey during the year. Is that an area that you feel there's more to go in, that there's more space in in 2018 as well? Absolutely. The live export is key uh, in terms of competition and we certainly put a lot of effort into the Turkish market in particular but also the calf export last year and it's an area again where there is room for further uh, improvement in and we'll be, we'll be doing everything we possibly can to drive that on. Uh, I suppose something that I would have noted in particular there, and again it reflects uh, the pressure that the, the specialised beef industry <coughs> is under on an ongoing basis, uh, the number of cows, whilst there's been a fairly big increase in the dairy herd and, and, and breeding in that sector, the, the numbers do seem to be slipping somewhat in the specialised beef sector. Well, the number, the number of calvings in the, in the, from the suckler herd has slipped 14,000 on 17, but it's, if you look at it on a 10-year average, the number of calvings out of the suckler herd is pretty constant right across the 10 years, with the exception of two, two years in particular where they, were, they peaked. But in general, they're pretty consistent, pretty steady, and uh, that suckler herd, that's where the quality beef is coming out of. That's where a lot of our markets are built on, and it's an area which needs a bit of support there. We, we, we're looking for uh, support for the suckler cow. We feel it's a, a well-merited uh, suckler herd is the cornerstone which all this beef that we're talking about today is built on and it's an area where we feel uh, the Minister needs to uh, come into now to support the suckler cow. Uh, that's an area whilst it hasn't been covered by the seminar this morning, it's been purely market focused, but you would be very much of the view that additional support at a government level is needed for the specialist uh, suckler producer. Absolutely, additional support is merited, it is warranted, and it would be money very well spent to actually invest in the suckler herd in what, Ireland. What, what level of support would you be thinking of that would be appropriate? Yeah, we, we feel that we need, it. We need uh, payments up to about €200 Euros per cow, uh, and as I say, it would be well merited and it'd be, it would deliver good returns back to Ireland Inc. and to the Irish beef sector in general. Do you think that you can sell that message to the Minister because the reality of life is that uh, I suppose it's the work that your members do on the ground that feeds the raw material to the factories that are located in all sorts of areas of Ireland where there aren't necessarily high-tech jobs going. Do you feel that you have a strong enough message there that you can get through to government and get their buy-in to it? The government have to listen to it because it's a, it is a good news story. The suckler herd is a, is a valuable asset to Ireland. It delivers, as you say, into rural economies and uh, it's probably the best way of getting money into those rural economies because everyone knows farmers, farmers spend their money locally and it is the best way of delivering rural, rural jobs in rural Ireland. And definitely it would be money very well spent by the Irish government. Final word, Angus, are you optimistic for 2018? The markets are strong, demand is strong, uh, consumption is rising across Europe and across the world. Uh, there is no reason why 
we can't get a better beef price going forward into 18 than we got in 17. Angus Woods, thank you very much.